What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brian's Garage. So, I know I'm squinting, it's kind of sunny out here today. We've got a special one for you today. Special one for me, special one for everybody. Um, a little bit different project for the channel. But we are headed to Conyers today to go pick up a new project for the shop. I don't want to give out too many hints because oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. Y'all need to just stick around for this video and uh, at least see what I got going on here. Um, yeah, this is going to definitely be a good one. So we've got the Lumina all loaded up because we're going to take it this time instead of the van. Um, got some basic hand tools in the trunk in case anything happens and got the camera equipment and everything loaded up ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and hit the road and let's go out there oh, my mic's in the way Oops. Um, let's go out there and see what we got to bring home and revive this time some kind of aviation or something or another. I saw a couple of planes take off. made it to Randy's and Conyers and the first thing I got uh, saw when I got here is apparently a tree a couple weeks ago took out our old workshop here and damn did it really take it out whole fence is down back there and dang also took the roof off this son of a little bitch But we're going to go ahead and go through some of these parts over here that I left behind and see what we're going to take with us and get it loaded up into the car and then get to Daniels. Alright, so we ended up not getting any of the parts because I'm not going to be able to use any of them for anything. All I got was a couple of windshield wipers that will fit my van and the arms. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Daniels and go take a look at this uh, new project. Alright guys, we've made it to Daniels and here is the reveal of our new project it is a 1978 Ford F-150 custom it's actually in really good shape doors open great look at that there's a little bit of rust on the corners of the doors there the cab corners look at the cab corners oh my this thing is in great shape it's a little wrinkle on the bed there not too bad. Maybe it looks like a tire got busted or something of that sort. The inside of this thing is actually in really good shape. It's got a little bit of rust here and there, but not too much. Not anything we couldn't patch up. Um, it is an automatic. Uh, I think it probably has a C6 in it. The exhaust is unhooked, drive shaft is there, tank neck is hanging. The frame looks to be in a really good shape. Man, this thing is clean, dude. This thing is stupid clean. Let's see how good this door shuts. Oh, yes. Yes. Solid back window, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but hey, those are, those are Explorer seats. Hey, those might do all right in the truck. I might be installing some Explorer seats in this sucker. Looks like the front end's in pretty good shape. 
unfortunately I can tell he had to cut the bumper off. That's uh, something I'm going to have to fix. Looks like it was painted at some point. Yeah, it was painted. I wonder what the original color of this truck was. But it's actually fairly, fairly clean for what it is. Man, it's straight. Like it's, look at that. That's straight as an arrow. Except for that one little spot. Oh, there's a little wrinkle here in the fender. That's not too bad. I can probably work that out. It is a dual tank truck, which is freaking awesome. Looks like somebody parted out an Explorer, and they have Explorer parts in the back. Which, hey, I will probably use, uh, maybe use the seats. I don't know. You're not in too bad a shape. Okay, what's not hooked up? Is that the shocks or is that just the, is that the bed not bolted down? Oh, there's the rest for the seat there. That's not too bad. I don't know if that's a spare tire that would go to this truck, but maybe. It's got drop shackles on it. It does. It's been lowered in the rear. Okay, the mounting spot for the bumpers are still in good shape. Looks like the frame is in really good shape back here too, which is a good thing. It's like a stock rear end, which probably is a stock rear end. I wonder if it's drums on the front or discs. It's got both mirrors. Got the wing windows. It actually has three seats. That's a Mountaineer seat, and it looks like the other ones are Explorer seats, which a Mountaineer is just a glorified Explorer. Um, we have disc brakes in the front, five lug wheels. These old wagon wheels will look really good painted white and put back together. Looks like we have a decent template here to install our windshield. I don't see any rust spots or anything that would hinder us from putting a windshield in this truck. Missing the windshield wipers, which I might have some for it now. Maybe, if I'm lucky. Try to get my head in here. Okay, emergency brake, gas pedal, brake pedal, all that's still there. Looks like it is a heat truck at least. Maybe an AC truck, but probably just a heat truck. It has the headliner actually. Probably just have to redo it. But it has it. This really looks like a, a good solid start for a build. And it does have the fuse panel and the wiring harness still in it, so that is a good thing. I do not think those are stock mirrors. I think those are a aftermarket design. But at least they both match. Now let's see what we're working with under the hood. Alright guys, what we have here is a 351. And the way you can tell the difference between a 351 and a 302 is your 351 is going to have the spot for the distributor lower than the spot for the intake. Now if this was a 302 then the spot for the distributor go into the block would actually be level with the flat spot for the intake to mount. 
but since it is lower, we know that this is a 351. I'm not sure which 351. I'm hoping it's a modified. And it probably is. Um, I can tell we've had someone doing some rigging there. Put that in the cab. Brake controller is still in it. Um, steering box is still in it. It looks like this engine is fairly complete. Except for... Oh, it's got plug wires on it. Looks like he put some plug wires on it for me. So, I'm really looking good. It's a complete, complete engine. Let's check real quick to see if the carburetor's free. That's good. Even though I have a holly to go on it, he's gonna he's gonna give me a holly to go with this. I think it's a holly four barrel. And I do believe this is a two barrel. So we are going to have to or is it a two barrel? Let's see. No, it's a four. It's a four barrel. Okay, good deal. So we can possibly put our um, carburetor on without switching out the intake, but it depends if it's a, a, a wide board, a spread bore. We gotta, we gotta see, and uh, then we'll be able to tell if we'll be able to actually use the new carburetor with um, what's going on with uh, okay. you are yeah, I'm, I'm recording. Um, looks like this crap's got the. The old common Dura Spark shit box ignition system in it, which is typical for Fords. This is a 351. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a 351 because uh, the 351s. You see where the mounting part of your in, uh, your distributor is. Mm -hmm. 351 is going to have the mounting part of the distributor lower than the mounting part of the intake. If it was level, it'd be a 302. Gotcha. That's what I was gonna say. This. Uh, isn't that the cam computer? That is your ignition spark box. That's pretty much what sends your ignition sparks to your uh, distributor uh -huh. to tell it to fire, and they're garbage. Well, then what is that? Um, because honestly, I'm not sure. My truck has the uh, same stuff. I mean, I know that's the solenoid. Yeah. That, I'm not sure what it is. Um, I thought this was like the computer. Well, technically, uh, Yes, it is a computer for the truck because I mean this truck's not really computerized, yeah. but for the year that it was, yes, that is the computer. Okay. Um, I did find a little rust, not much though. Um, it's under the floor mats in there. Oh, it is. Yeah, and it's just little itty bitty spots. Yeah. Otherwise, this thing's in pretty good shape. Yeah. Except for a yeah. little wrinkle there. Um, the bed's wrinkled in the back a little bit on the top, but you know, it's a it's it's probably was used as a work truck. Yeah. I was um, gonna say. It's not bad. No. Not at all. You know all. what? I got something else. Actually, I want to see real quick. Yep, engine's not seized. Good deal. All right. Well, we got us a freed up 351, which I'm pretty sure is a 351 modified. So this thing ought to produce pretty good power, especially seeing that it's not a seized engine we've actually got some some luck with this thing so we're gonna go ahead and start going through and weeding this out cleaning it up uh, getting ready to call AAA and then uh, we'll get y'all back on the camera and check it out see her get loaded up and shipped off down to my house I don't know if it's for this truck but I could maybe use it for So far, the bed looks like it's in good shape. Anyway, uh, anyway, if you want to buy uh, a wood chip and stuff, or the wood chip, you can buy the shit up. Oh, yeah. Uh, wood chips are fucking I don't know how to do it. That's what it expects. I would explain all the heaviness.
this in it. You got some ratchet straps? You know what? That's where the bolt goes. Ratchet strap, this must are down. I might have to. Did we bring that? I got them. I, I got some straps. Yeah, I'm almost getting Unless it's just a little bit. Okay. Let me try and Nah, he would have hit it by now, wouldn't he? Yeah. No, it's not in there. Not in there. Shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not a problem for the bike. We need to be a little careful about what we're putting in here. Because oh, yeah, no, they're not yeah, bolting down yeah. at all. It's not. Right over there. Yeah. Probably not behind some. Something else. Yeah, something else you might need. I don't know what that is. Shroud, it's, it's half it's of the part of a fan shroud. No, I didn't see the other part get on the way. Uh, anyway, let me get this out. For Shaggy. Huh. Fuck, I'll keep that son of a bitch and I got some one more parts. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Wait, see what's next up in this other can. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can use that. Okay. You know, Brian. I did the snorkel pipe in the mower. Okay. okay. Like I said, if, if you. Want it and think you can use it. It's just it. saving you from getting bitched at and watching your mom saying, I don't want all this stuff out here. Well, it's gone. So there you yeah, go. You can even see it over here. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, the dad and my There's other. Yeah. There's one piece for that fish rub. Oh, yeah. You ain't driving it. It's just like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, trying to help you out. Oh, hey, here's another lower part. Be a. Uh, <laughs> Because honestly, like if Brian wasn't going to get it, I was just going to call the erector and just grab it. So, well, our sonnet. Uh, I got two number hazards.
Two grand. Alright, let it down. Yeah? Let it down. Alright, mine's on there. Alright. Now, same, same for your side. Yeah. Wait. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, now we can pick it up. Like a dump, 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 tra, 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 down. Now, yeah. now. You want to see, see, see yeah. back at the uh, dump truck doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got the bed strap down, got the tailgate on it for kind of what it is. I, I would strap it. Yeah. The strap right We're there. strapping it because they don't have the uh, mounting points. They did get it latched and they got the arms on it, but still, it's kind of wee bit flappy there. Um, got the whole bed cleaned out, which is actually in good shape. Um, looks like the dirt preserved it. And if you see, the fender wheels ain't beat to piss. So we actually got a good, uh, good little template here to work off of. We'll need to bolt the bed back down and, uh, of course, do this interior. But hey, we got some parts to work with. Go ahead and see if this door will shut. And got a few good parts to go on the engine. So we're going to go ahead and get the tow truck out here and try to get this thing snatched back to the house. So go ahead and give it a call and play the waiting game. All right, guys. We got the truck all situated and we are waiting for AAA. Figured I'd show you Daniel's truck that he just got redone. Um, this is a 78. And we found out the blue truck is a 79. But this is a 78. It has been repainted, body work done on it. It has a newer Crate 347 in it. Um, this is a stroker engine. It's a beautiful, good sounding engine. Did a good job on this. Nice electric yeah. fan, nice radiator. Got a set of headers on it. The chrome dressings in the front. It's a good looking truck. I'm supposed to be getting some new tires for it soon, but uh, these are the wheels that were on the blue truck. I think they look better on his, while the ones that were on his look better on the blue truck. Beautiful old truck. Interiors. Really nice. Door cards are actually in really good shape when they usually are ragged. Look at that seat. Oh, and there is our roadside assistant. So let me take that and I will get back on the camera in just a second. Alright, so had to take the take that call from AAA, but this old thing is just gorgeous. It's such a nice truck. Look at the headliner. I mean, it's really been taken well care of and just just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful example of a 78 Ford. Yeah. You can see the original color. Go ahead and crack it up. Right there. Oh, I will in a minute. But yeah, you see the original green that it used to be. And now the uh, interior has been done black instead of green. and exterior of the truck has been done a, a midnight metallic orange I do believe this, uh... new tailgate he took the bumper off of the truck that I'm getting from him got some brand new 
LED tail lights, which are really actually nice. Most like can candy apple orange. Oh, it's candy apple metallic orange. That's what yeah. it is. Because it is a metallic paint. Yeah. But look at this. I mean, just the door cards themselves are usually so busted up, and they're actually in such good shape. It's got a little bit of wrinkles on the seat where I think it's been covered up before and used the original padding. And actually, the actual original covering might still be on the seat. But, um, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Hey, Daniel. What switches are for which? Huh? What switches are what? Does any of them have to be on to start it? Uh, no. This is, um, this is the, uh, trans cooler fan. Okay. This is the, uh, uh, fan for the, uh, main electric fan and the light bar and this is the uh light bar okay okay just wondering yeah uh, anyway i was gonna say pop it in a in a in a neutral. in a neutral is the neutral safety switch messed up uh anyway anyway like it doesn't want to start in a uh, park and uh -huh. so i gotta shift it into a neutral so i gotta adjust that I was gonna say, uh, anyway, put your uh, foot on the uh, brake. Boy, she got a rumble to her. God, look at that thing just rumble. She's a chugger, but boy, she sounds so good. What is this on there? Cherry bombs? Yeah, like, you know, this little, little cherry bomb yeah. on it. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Alright guys, so I just got word that my tow truck driver is on the way and they will be here in about an hour. Um, I guess eventually I need to get me a tow rig so I can pull my own stuff home. But for now, I haven't used a roll back and use a co excuse me, use a company. So we had to restrap the bed because it was a little a little wobbly the way it was before but we actually got it strapped down a lot better than it was and it is ready to go it's also got it pulled out i'm pretty pretty happy with this truck it's really really decent i can't wait to get it home and wash it well it's starting to get dark still no sign of tow truck i'm starting to wonder if they're just you know screwing me so i guess we'll see but still waiting so hopefully they'll be here soon all right tow truck's here it's getting loaded and then we're going straight to the house with this thing probably be getting there about 11 o'clock but uh it is what it is at least we're getting it home so good deal we're gonna have us a forward to work on tomorrow all right, we are finally on our way back to the house. Just got out of Conyers and I uh, got about 60 miles to go, so hopefully we'll be there soon. over there. Wish they weren't closed. I'd 
stop in. Excellent job once again. Such a great little car. Made the trip with no problems whatsoever. So that was a hundred and at least eighty miles round trip in Lumina. No problems. So happy about that. And uh, now we are just waiting on old Laren, my tow truck driver, to get the old 79 Ford here at the shop. So I'm sure he's probably hmm, 20 minutes behind me. So hopefully here in just a few minutes we will see the truck here at the shop. And there she is, sitting there in all of her glory. Sitting in the yard. 1979 F-150 Custom. Man, I sure am glad to have this truck. Boy, howdy. Let me tell you. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, I love these old dent sides. I've never been a huge Ford fan, but there's something about the dent side. There's just something about it. But I sure am happy to have this thing, guys, and I can't wait to get start getting it running. So what we're probably going to do tomorrow morning, get out here. First thing I'm probably going to do is clean it up. Get it nice and clean. Probably try to get her moved up into the automotive shop up there. And then we will go ahead and start cracking this thing open and making sure we have everything that we need to get it running for one and then go ahead and get it running um, we will have a slight issue because we don't have an ignition switch might have to jump it jump it over but I think that's something that we could do no it is so but yeah guys I will see y'all in the morning sometime back out here on the truck all right guys good morning it is the next day um, I think I'm about to start working on trying to get the uh, get the truck up here in the driveway so we can go ahead and get the pressure washer out, clean this thing up real good, get it rolled into the carport here, and hopefully get this thing running and yard driving. So let's see what we can do with this thing. Driveway's a little too steep for the van to pull it up. So I'm actually waiting on old Shaggy, my buddy, to show up from Shaggy Small Engines. He's going to come help me get this up there because he just got him a newer truck too. It's a... It's a 89 F-150, but it's four-wheel drive with an inline uh, 300 six-cylinder. Good, strong pulling engine. So, uh, yeah, I know for a fact his truck will pull it up the driveway. No problem. But we came out here already and kind of went through and kind of straightened it up a little bit the best of my ability um, with what I had out here, which was my two hands. Uh, I got the Explorer seat sitting in here for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with this shit. Am I going to use the Explorer seats? Am I going to try to find a bench seat? What am I going to do? I'm not sure. I will figure that out later. I did find some parts that I wasn't expecting to find, like uh, the back side of the steering wheel cover. Happy about that. Um, now all I got to do is find the front piece and... You know, I'll have that. The grill that came off of Daniel's truck is actually not in bad shape. It was only broken on the back side. Man, that ain't no big deal for me. Shoot, I'm going to put that sucker right on there. Repaint it, put it on. Now, I did not find these square headlight bezels for this truck. I found some round ones. That's the only ones that were in the back of this truck but they were there so 
I'm not going to complain. And I got to thinking last night, instead of buying some, I'm actually just going to cut out for the square. I know some people wouldn't do that. This is going to be a budget build. I do not have a bunch of money to dump in this truck, but I do want it sort of nice. The best that I can do. I can always change out headlight bezels later if I find some. <clears throat> but I'd rather run headlight bezels if I have them. So for now, I'm just going to cut squares out for my headlights. We do have one fuel filler neck. And I'm pretty sure this truck only has one tank on it, even though... It's a, I wonder if this is a different bed on this truck, honestly. Because it's got two, it's got a spot for two tanks. But it's only got one tank, I do believe. Let me cut the lights on here. Yeah, it's only got one tank. Unless there's one on the other side that I can't see. Nope, it's only got one gas tank. Alright, so we got our ignition wires hooked up for uh spark plugs and using some of the parts here that came with the truck to uh, what the hell to get some new hoses and everything eventually but for now I'll be here in the yard I'll have to run what I got power steering fluid in it. No. Nope. She's bone dry. I want to put some of that in there. Check her oil. It's actually got some in there. It's got it's got a little life left in it. I don't think I'll change it right away. Seeing that I don't have the money for it, I think I will leave it. Um, got some leaves we gotta get out from under here. And I almost think if I could get this thing running for Shaggy, even calls me back, maybe I could just drive it up in there. Um, let's check our brakes. It's got fluid in it. Top it up with some fluid and uh, should be good to go. The brakes do work on this truck, so that is, that is an amazing thing. Usually they don't. Um, like I said, I do believe this truck was actually restored in the early 2000s, late 90s. It had to be. But that gives us great bones, so. I'm going to go locate some fluid and get everything topped up, locate a hose for our top radiator there, get that hooked up, pour some water down its throat, see if I can put a battery on it, maybe jump it, see if it'll fire.
fire to your coal. I bet you know it's fucking dark spark ignition box. Fuck. Well, I'm here. Hold this. All right, guys, so we got this thing up here in the driveway. Shaggy came by and helped me snatch it up real quick. He had to run, but uh, I got it up here, got all the stuff out of the cab. Everything's all under the carport there and some of it on the trailer. Got the bed cleaned out of all the crap. What we're going to go ahead and do now is sweep it out with a broom. And then we'll go ahead and start pressure washing the truck. Also got the pressure washer out ready to go. So we're going to start getting this thing cleaned up and looking a little better. See what the paint looks like and what the bed truly looks like. So our bed is in excellent shape. It's got some surface rust. The only holes that are in it are the holes for the bumper bolts. Or I mean the, the bed bolts that are missing. Apparently, looks like maybe Daniel put a couple in the rear or we just didn't see those. But there's two in the back. And the other six are missing. But, that's good because that's what hold the bed on probably when we were getting it towed home. But since, that looks so good, man. I'm, like wow even the mm, even the fender wheels ain't beat in but let's go ahead and start pressure washing with the pressure washer she's cleaning up pretty good so far check that out guys look at this thing it's got a few blemishes here and there but that gun is a pretty decent paint job you can see where they tried to touch it up with some spray paint looks like and the paint was chipping off but all in all not bad all right guys it's getting late I kind of did quite a bit off camera. Uh, we didn't wash wash it, but we did pressure wash it pretty good. It did turn out pretty nice. Um, uh, there's some things that need some paint and some love, but in all reality, cleaned up good. Take y'all around the back side. Pretty clean old truck. But yeah, we've uh, started, I've uh, removed the carburetor and replaced it with this polycarb. And of course we put our MSD uh, cap on with our Excel wires. 
Um, I've got some new vacuum line on. He sent me some flex hose for the coolant lines that I installed. Um, I've installed another better used alternator except for it took the brackets out because I'm working on taking the water pump out. I have a chrome water pump here with a brand new flex fan and a crank pulley the adapter for the fan a uh, water pump pulley and we are going to use those instead of what was on here because I just I like those a lot better I do believe it it should fit yeah that should fit so we're gonna go ahead and get that I'll probably price a couple parts I'm gonna go to the parts store tomorrow and uh, check to get a few things a few quick things that uh, possibly might need to get this thing running some hose clamps and uh, the RTV for one I'm probably gonna need a gasket or two Daniel supply me with quite a bit, but not everything. So, we'll get back on this hard and heavy tomorrow. Uh, and then, uh, fix this thing up a little more. It's looked good so far. We'll get this thing a little, a little better off. And, and then we can, uh, see if it'll fire up. But I'm going to go ahead and call tonight and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Right, guys, it is another day on the old Ford. I'm actually about to run to the parts store real quick. Grab some parts. And then come on back to uh, start putting on the water pump and everything else. So, see you guys when I get back from the parts store. Alright, we have returned from the parts store. Um, I did get to talk to Butch while I was up there, and he told me that there's been a delay in the car show. Um, that's the reason he ain't been able to have one again. His boss has been having him work every time that the car show was going to hit, but he did say that the 18th of this month, we will be having a car show. So, sucks that the Ford's not going to be ready for that one, but it's okay. Uh, there will be more to come, but we will try to take a mower for sure and run up there and enjoy the car show for a bit. So there's probably going to be another video on that. No, I can't wait for it. Um, we did just uh, get us some RTV and a gasket for the water pump. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and start taking this one off and start to try to assemble and put on our new, fresh water pump for this engine. So first things first, I'm actually going to go ahead and <clears throat> remove this crankshaft pulley. And replace it with our new chrome crankshaft pulley. put a light coat of RTV on the backing plate gasket and we're letting it cure. We have our water pump off and we're going to go ahead and prep our gasket surface to accept our new gasket. Um, one thing you do want to note about these is you don't want to put too much RTV on your gaskets. Like I said, just a light coat enough to seal any imperfections in the gasket surfacing on both sides of your gaskets apply it let it sit for a few minutes let it cure up kind of get tacky 
then you can apply it and it'll create a really good bond. Also, you want to uh, run a couple of, uh, I like to do all my bolts, but put a light coat of RTV on your bolts for your water pump. That way any water jackets that it runs through or anything of that sort will not leak. It's just a nice extra precaution to make sure that your water pump swap is going to be successful. Uh, we do already have our chrome pulley on down here and we will dress up the rest of the engine with the chrome goodies as we put our water pump on and go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and get our gasket surfacing cleaned up and then we'll go ahead and apply a light coat of RTV to this gasket on both sides and install our brand new water pump. Alright guys, I did a little bit on camera, a little bit off camera. Um, this project is so much, it's hard to fit into one video. So, uh, yeah, I've been working on it here and there. I actually went down and pulled out all of the stuff out of the Dodge van that I would need for this build. Uh, the seats, for one, because those seats are uh, way better than the other ones were. So, we got the seats, we've got my inverter, the CB radio, a radio itself, some other extras here and there. Um, we also, what did we do, what did we do, what did we do? I did a bunch of work under the hood. I did get the bumper on as well. I got it straightened back out and on. Unfortunately, I had to weld it back on. But... Hey, it's an old work truck. It'll be all right. It looks fine. This is what we were working on today. We got our water pump in, our pulleys, our power steering pumps back on, our alternators back on, and not tightened up yet because I still need to locate a belt for that. Um, our bottom pulley is on. Everything looks so much better than it did. There's a pretty sharp looking unit there. But 
I think I've done enough for the night. I'm pretty tired. It's starting to look like a truck. So I think I'm going to be happy with that for the evening. Call it a night. And uh, probably see you guys back out here on this project again tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, another day on the old third. Got uh just went to the parts store and uh got a uh shitty Duraspark box. So let's install that real quick. And then maybe see if maybe we have any uh any spark. And if we do, maybe we can fire this thing up. Because I sure would love to. So, let's check it out. Alright. Let's remove this garbage and replace it with new garbage. Alright guys, I think we're going to go ahead and try to start this thing. I do not have an ignition switch in here, so I'm going to have to jump the solenoid. Um, we did fill the radiator with water. I have a hose here uh, to complete the top radiator hose. I've got the brake reservoir filled up, if you've noticed. Um, well, I guess you'd say master cylinder. But uh, I painted the top of the cover. It's a little rusty. So I cleaned it. Painted it, cleaned the grommet, got it back together. Um, we've got our power steering full. Uh, like I said, that's full. We have our Dura Spark uh, crap box on. Uh, everything seems to be hooked up really, except for the alternator, because I do not have a belt that size. So we're going to go ahead and try to start this thing and see what it does. Just a little bit of fuel. See if it's getting sparked. out of it so I repaired the wiring harness I also checked and uh, there's a couple different uh, pictures on line about the firing order so I had one and now I'm gonna try the other but uh, I just kind of switched them around one I might have had it wrong that's what I'm trying to find out but let's go ahead and jump it with the solenoid. I did get the uh, battery charging, so let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get it to run. Still nothing. another day out here um, we did try to start this last night and it was actually turning over pretty good um, it did try to fire once um, actually it did fire once technically 
so we've got the ignition switch jumped over properly and that's a good thing what I did last night is I left it and all I did was disconnect my battery we got that bad boy charging had it charging all night last night on a trickle so it actually should be ready to go so I think what I want to do is go ahead and try to jump solenoid one more time and see if she run so let's do it Still got quite a bit of work to do on this thing. I think I'm gonna actually call it for this video and just come back at it again. Because I don't have all the parts. I'm not like all the other guys that have all the parts all at hand and can just go ahead, throw it together and get it running. No. No. I am severely on a budget, so um I think I'm going to wait for Daniel to bring me a damn ignition switch because I'm getting sick of trying to jump this thing over. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because um, I have been enjoying working on this thing, but I'm not enjoying the headache that it's bringing me. Um, but yeah, y'all go uh, check out the uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and the TikTok. Snapchat's different. It's an avatar. 
rest of it is the same profile picture as the YouTube channel. So you can go to those platforms, type in Flying Brian's Garage in the search engines, and find me. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit that all notifications bell so you're notified every time we get a new video put out. Um, go check out some of the older videos. Stay tuned for the newer videos. Go down and leave a like if you like this video. And comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say something in general. Um, if you got any derogatory comments like I've been getting recently, piss off. I don't have time for that. Um, and I, I'm not one of those, you know, I'm, I'm not going to put up with it. You can piss off. I'll block you from the channel. If you don't want to watch it, it's real easy. Um, go somewhere else. If you like it, cool. If you don't, it ain't for everybody. I mean, that's, that's great, you know. I, I see people don't like, some of the people don't like the videos, and I understand that. You know, it, content ain't for everybody. But just know, anytime you leave me a comment or even a, a, a dislike, you're still supporting the channel. So, best thing for you to do is just go on somewhere else. The door's right there, you know. It's not easy to find. I mean, it's not hard to find. So, and with that being said, uh, appreciate the, the viewers that do subscribe and interact and enjoy the videos. And, stick around for some good ones we will be doing a part two on this truck um part two we'll be getting it completely running and driving um hopefully saving up for a windshield and getting some of the interior done and getting some of the body done y'all be sure to stay tuned for part two and we will see you guys on the next episode